Hi, my name is Sandy Stevens. I am a Master Gardener with the Harris County AgriLife, and I uh, am here to talk to you today about Cylinder Gardening, a program that Master Gardeners implement throughout the schools in Harris County. I'll walk you through today the steps for the students to go through in preparing their seeds to carry them out for planting. Point, you are at a point where you should be ready to uh, plant seed. Um, your garden has been prepared, uh, maybe uh, casually if you have your cylinder sitting outside on asphalt. I would have expected by this point that you've got your garden soil in your cylinder. If they're on raised beds, on the grass, wherever the cylind cylinders might be positioned, you should already have uh, put the potting soil into the cylinder uh, and have about an inch uh, between the top of the cylinder and the top of your potting soil. And I'm going to show you today how to go about preparing the seeds for planting. What students do is actually glue their seeds onto a paper napkin in the classroom before they go outside uh, using a water-soluble um, Elmer's glue. Um, the first thing you'll need the students to have, and you'll need to provide this for them, is a paper napkin. These are single-ply paper napkins that unfold into a big square. Um, and we are going to adapt them to become the holders for the seed. So the students will each receive a napkin from you, which they will fold in um, half uh, point to point so that you have kind of a triangle shape. Basically, your instructions say for the students to, um, starting in the folded corner, uh, to measure out five inches from that point make a dot or a slash uh, two or three times around the edge of the napkin and then taking their scissors, follow the guide and cut a little bit of an arc here. And then they will have a shape resembling a cone. If they have measured from that folded corner, that cone is going to unfold into a circle. And uh, you can see that it will have some natural folds in the napkin when you unfold it so that it shows eight divisions. If you have only two seed, they'll put them, you know, side by side, uh, further toward the edge than toward the middle, four seeds, and so forth. The diagram on your sheet gives you detailed instructions about how to estimate where those seeds should go. I have with me um, some cilantro seed, and we have four of uh, cilantro seeds in a pack. Uh, your seeds have been distributed so that you should likely have two students per napkin, two students per, cil per cylinder. So there are the four seed in my hand, and I'm going to take the glue, sorry, um, and I'm going to make a, a, just a tiny dot in four places on the napkin. And um, they can kind of smear it if they want so it's not too thick, and then simply drop the seed into the glue put a little glue on the back of it and put it near the outside edge of the of the circle. There is a possibility that the napkin can be just a smidge larger than the cylinder itself, unless they, you know, if they've accidentally cut it five and a half inches instead of five, that's not an issue. Just have them uh, slide their fingers down along the edge and kind of tuck it into the cylinder. Um, the next day, the students will find that their seed are nicely in place. They are not going to drop off the napkin when they carry them outside. They can pick them up and you can go outside for uh, uh, to plant the seeds in the cylinder. 
Um, these, these seed, uh, in particular, the cilantro seed, only take about a quarter of an inch of dirt over the top of the seed. Uh, depending upon the particular variety of seed, um, it can take anywhere from three to even as long as 10 days for the seed to germinate. I think they will all have a great deal of fun doing this project and best wishes to all of you.